The things you guys have been hollering about, crying and whining. Oh my, sorry, it's just not the best unit in the game. Sorry. I'm sorry, bro. So you got the sword and the stick, dude. It's unfortunate. Okay, horny girl. Old effect. She had massive fire damage, gains crappy dodge rate, now gains her scale one on Ogi. God damn, dude. Oh, she gets all the self buff. What the fuck? Hey, that's pretty good. So she gained other self, dodge rate, boosted, hostility up, duration increased to three turns. Cooldown changed to seven turns, six when enhanced from five turns. That's pretty good. All the self on Ogi and hostility up. Pretty good. I like you. Alluring step. Old effect was all allies gained 15% uplift, quick crap, and hype bullshit. Switch between quick tap and silent tap. Oh, is this like drain and stern? Yeah, it is. Okay. So now you just click it, this swap between either healing and big damage. Captivation, inflict DA down, TA down on all foes, all allies gain shield, gain sudden tap, restoring all allies HP upon dodging, healing cap 1500. Also, use instant CA damage, and all allies gain uplift, shield, and hype. Uh, not bad. On a what? How long? How long is the cooldown? This, where's the cooldown? I'm guessing it's like six turns or something, seven turns. Pretty good. I don't know how big the shield is. Yeah, her her Ogi activates her skill one. And she has uplift, it's pretty good. Pushing the hype meta and fire. Um, you're probably gonna keep her in quick tap majority of the fight though. Silent tap, I mean it's cool, but she doesn't clear, right? Silent tap did not clear from my knowledge. So, healers, whatever. There's other ways to heal. Feed on fire, reworked, all the effect. 10% boost to dodge rate, new effect upon dodging while quick tap is in effect. Extend the duration of hype on all allies by one turn. All allies gain stackable up. Uh, Yeah, you probably keep it on a quick tap. You definitely keep it on a quick tap. Support skill two. Upon dodging, while sun tap is in effect, restore all allies HP. All allies gain defense up stackable. Yeah, you keep it on her quick tap. She's still not clear. Nothing, nothing has changed with that. If it cleared, it'd be much better though. Oh, that's why people mentioned using her with audios, huh? Yeah, it definitely looks pretty good. High dodge rate, high hostility. Looks strong. Yeah. Percival. Oh my lord, they really gave this fucking guy 20 charge bar on Ogi. 
Wow, they just took the light one. Oh no, is this the light Percival? But red? He gains Hellfire Crest on activating skill 1, heal cap increased. Oh, he has delay. Oh shit. His. Wait, he has fear and delay in the same skill. The fuck? They removed his strength buff, his fire attack up, and his 20% bonus damage. Cooldown changed to 6 turns. Oh, they really went that route with him, bro. They just said, yo, we lazy, bro. We making this new Percival. We're going to just turn the fucking red one to the light one. Now, whoa, what the fuck is all this shit? Gain strength and bonus damage. Additional effects based on the number of health crests. Yo, what the fuck is all this? What is all this? Wait, you getting like 17 buffs? Yo, what is these? You get debuff success rate boosted? DA attack. Is this a monkey? This guy's a monkey. Yo, this is monkey. Wait, is that not? Yo, am I? That's monkey, is it not? What? What's the difference? Oh, it's only hell? I thought... Still pretty good, though. I thought it was, like, the party because, um... Because you know how the the light one is like the party? I thought it was the same shit. Yo, if this was party though, that'd be ridiculous. <laughs> Yo, dude. I only thought it was the party because the light one's party wide. And I'm looking at all this shit. He gains all this? I'm like, what the fuck? That would be so busted. Oh my god. Okay. Still pretty good though. King critical T A D A. Kingly aura we worked. Gain an additional thirty percent. So a boost of fire attack based on personal number of hellfire crests. Okay. Adjusted so that the attack boost is easier to obtain. Okay. Narmea. Oh, brother. Is everybody just gonna gain other self on Ogi now? Is that the new meta? So she has other self on Ogi, physical endurance, DATA strength is increased. I don't think anybody cares about that. Mental focus. Salted wound is removed, gains anytime assassin, I think this is, right? This attack boosted. Critical hit rate up, strength increase, cooldown change from six turns. Okay. Dodge rate boosted, stackable effect increased per stack and maxes out at 5 stacks, previously 10 stacks. Upon dodging. Oh, this bitch got dodge delay too? But her only dodge is on. Does she have any other dodge? It's just, I guess it's her passive, right? Hmm. I don't know how, how big the value on that is, but. Oh my god. This is really the meta. We just dodge delay the game. Other self dodge delay the game. Hmm. She still has the spell, right? The spell. Her bonus damage. She has low defense though via her skill 1. 
Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something else he has, but okay. Seems cool. The fucking Dodge Delay sounds really nice, though. Blue Percival. Oh, brother. You get a crest. You get a crest. We all get crest. They didn't change his Ogie, though. Cold Case now always lasts two turns upon landing. Wow, what a change, dude. He has two turn cold cates guaranteed. It's no longer one or two. Gain strength and bonus damage of. You know, this looks a lot better if it was party wide. Is this too much to ask for, for him to be party-wide? He gets a defense boost, revitalized veil, cut to fire dam. He can't even substitute. If he substituted, then it'd be okay, right? All allies sub? But to my knowledge, I don't think he can substitute. It would be this like this is fine if he substitute all allies. Yeah. And he has the watercrest thing. Absolute zero can now take effect when he's a sub ally. What the fuck? Come on. Why? How did nobody talk about this? I hope you guys have them. Ogi sucked, but that's what would fucking GW was. <laughs> Ogi suck, yeah. Yeah. Tell me about the the Ogi GW we just had. Sarasa. Okay, here. There you guys complaining and whining. Here it is. Volp of Rage. So they remove her two buffs. Bonus damage is one of them, right? This one, I think. One of them had bonus damage. I don't remember which one it was. Oh, yeah, from her passive. That's what it's from. Now I remember. New effect. Earth damage to a foe. Gain jammed. Axe form. Also gain drain. So she gets jammed and drain. Sword form also amplifies normal attack damage by 30% for one turn. Oh. And they increase the cooldown to six turns. How long is this drain for? The drain is one turn? Oh, they're trolling. I think they just fucked up. These should be three turns. Wow. That's funny. I'm not gonna lie, that's hilarious. Berserker of Forge, Axe Form, gains counter dodge at level eight. Upgraded counter dodge and damage also gains guaranteed TA. So she gets counter dodge and damage. That's it. And some guaranteed TA, whatever cares about that. Sword form instantly perform a normal attack without using up a turn at level 85. Also gain guaranteed TA. Oh, she has the um, Dante thing. Oh, 
Oh, you both actually you both do. You both activate sword form, use her skill one, and then attack for her skill two, I guess. So that counts as two turns of damage. I guess that's what it's going for. Supernatural rework. Undying effect at the start of battle three times. Oh, wait, what? So if she can not die three times or something? After level 90, supplemental damage effect for the third hit of a triple attack. So she gets 300k on her third hit. Did it change her Ogi or anything? I heard they changed ground zero. Where's the ground zero change? Oh, they didn't? Oh. Oh. What the fuck is he gain? Uh, wait, what? I don't know what she gained, but she didn't gain shit from just looking at this. She gained the undying effect, and that's it. That's whatever. Big titties. Listen, guys. Did ground zero get changed? No? She's still viable. Okay, shut up and move on. As long as ground zero still work, she still does her thing. Um, the only problem here, though, is that um, you can't sack her anymore, though. Or an undying effect, you can't sack her with her skill three. So for the people who who used um, Sarsa to, to be sacked, yeah, I hope you have Rackham now. She lost utility. You wasn't using her before. Stop complaining. You just wanting to whine. Medusa! Yo! Let's make Medusa good. This is the one I'm looking for. So, this is her passive? No, this is her Ogi. Her Ogi got reworked. Okay, cool. So, it used to apply stair stiff for 1.5 turns and whatever. Activates, oh, activates her magical Medusa. Okay, it activates her scale one. Cool, because she gets a Nukanogi poisoned. Okay, they changed it too. Earth damage to a foe, inflict poison, raise sweet snake level by one. She had the new pass or something when. Sweet snake level is seven, activates three times. Does he lose it? Damage and damage cap reduce. Aw. Cooldown change to six turns. Aw. Yo, but her activate three times? It sounds pretty good. Uh, sweet enchantment. Boost the CA specs based on sweet snake level. That's okay, I guess. Supreme serpent eye. Name change. One per turn when a foe uses a special attack, activates magical. Oh, so she's just going to be firing off her skill one all willy nilly. So she activates skill one on Ogi, and she activates skill one on special attack. And when you get seven stacks, he's just like chopping three of them. No, nah, I don't think this, this is not Earth Kalulu. It's not going to activate every turn, right? It's not activating every turn. However, it's still pretty good. 
Um, it won't take her long to stack up, right? It won't take her long at all. I mean, it's like you said, it's good to be like dark, but can't beat it. Yeah, hit the nuke seven times. So, but if that's not too bad, right? Let's do, let's do the math here, right? For Medusa, right? It's turn one, you have to be skill one, right? Now, Medusa can probably Ogi turn one if you have like Urel and stuff. It depends. Or if you have short time. Let's say she Ogi. And that's stack two. The boss Ogi's like every three turns generally. So two to three turns. So it, it's going to take about like anywhere oh keep in mind that medusa has a passive right or not passive her skill three right gives charge bar right it's like mosh pit like grant mentioned it's like mosh pit so she gains charge bar like 50 i think and a ca damage boost and stuff if the enemy ogies So it's not that bad. Personally, I don't think it's that bad. Is he gonna be MVP? I think you're pushing it. Will she be good? Yes. MVP? I think you're pushing it. I do think she'll be good though. I feel like keeping poison debuff is a little bit unnecessary as it doesn't enable any passive or anything like that. Yeah, the poison doesn't need to be here anymore. But why not, right? Po it's there, right? It's there, better than nothing. You can ha you can have nothing. <laughs> Gawain. So. Flashing Storm Destruction has a proper shield now. I remember back in the day, this 500 was so pitiful. Um, it was like, oh, brother. Fracture. Damage increase. At level 90, inflicts Earth Attack down. That's pretty good. Um, keep in mind, though, that... Wind doesn't really need it, but it's still pretty good though. Damage further increase, attack down, base accuracy increased. Rebellion, so this used to be the hit big nuke. Let's see how they changed it. 2000% at one health. Wind damage to all foes. So now it's AOE attack, gains jammed. Cooldown changed to seven turns. And it also consumes 30% of its maximum health. Is this supposed to be a buff? I guess he getting jammed now, I guess. I don't know if they increased the cap. I don't know if it keeps the same value. I don't know what else they did with it, but I guess. Okay. Also, now his feint length give 100% debuff res. Well, his feint length is technically better than normal feint length now, right? Normal feint length is only 50. So his feint length is better than normal feint length. Okay, cool, I guess. Use it or lose it. 100% boost to defense is now changed to boost to attack and defense based on how low Gawain's HP is. Okay. So, that's the point of him having his skill to consume HP. He gains a buff when he has lower health. Uh, seems kind of lackluster to me, but that's my opinion. It's there. 
Carmelina? This is who we should be hype about, Grim. Fuck Sarsa, dude. Carmelina is better than Sarsa. Changed my mind. So, War Hoop. Defense down strength and base accuracy increase. I am. I'm biased. What up? DA down. Yo, fucking. <laughs> what? I, I like Carmelina over Sarasa. I will, I will be honest. I think Carmelina is a better character. And looks cuter. Changed my mind. So DA down, TA down, strength increased. All sensation. Uh, she now has stackable debuff resistance down. Okay, sure, I guess. Oh, this, oh, normal debuff rest down doesn't work in far, right? So stackable works in far. Okay. Universal star, boost two attack specs when mirror image is in effect. Support scale two, boost CA specs based on the foe's number of debuffs. Her buffs, her buffs kind of garbage. I won't lie to you, dude. What, like, who, what, who cares, dude? Okay, whatever. Congrats. You got stuff. What do you miss? Yeah, okay. She got, she got kind of shafted. It's, it's okay, dude. It's okay. It's okay. So DLF, who is also getting a five star this month. Let's see her change. She, she loses the counter on dodge and 20% bonus damage. And she gains a new bonus damage, and she gains a shield worth seventy percent of the caster's maximum HP. Why the? F is she supposed to be like Orchid or something, or Folia? Why does she get so much? Why her shield so thick? And bonus light damage effect. Oh, I see. Because you want her, she keeps bonus light damage when she don't take damage. So you you want to have the shield up so that she doesn't take damage. Opposed to the counter and stuff. Okay. That makes sense. Glorious flame. Damage increased. Light defense down. Strength increased. Also inflicts dark attack down on all foes. This is okay. Not that bad. Could be better, but you know, who knows? Five stars still coming up, right? Okay, she so has to become a better healer now. Regeneration. Restore all allied HP. Revitalize duration reduced to three turns from five. Cooldown change to seven turns. So not much change here. This goes down two turns. This goes down three turns. But now she has a proper heal. Holy hell. Boost to debuff resistance while shield is in effect. Okay. That's okay, I guess. She's still getting a five star, so I mean, I, I wouldn't be throwing opinions on this character when she's like getting another buff in a minute. This is what she gets now, but she's still getting more. So, quick raid changed. It used to give 10% skill damage cap up. So pitiful. Skill name changed. Wait, what? It's no longer called Quick Raid. Uh, light damage to a foe. Inflicts attack down at level 90. Damage and damage cap increase. Attack down strength and base accuracy increase. Also inc inflict dark attack down. 
What the hell, dude? Uh, courtly Blade is what it's called now. It's not like a quick raid. I got you. Cooldown changed to seven turns. Six when enhanced from three. So it got a hefty increase in terms of cooldown. <sighs> God damn, dude. That's like whatever. Royal Curtain. A hundred percent DA for three turns changed to guaranteed TA for one turn. Is this not just Vera? Isn't it Vera skill two? This is Vera skill two. Yes. So their thought on buffing this skill two was to make this skill like a 2016 skill. Yes. Genius, dude. They legitimately like, yo, bro. So we're gonna buff this one dark character real quick, right? Then that same skill that we're buffing, we're gonna give it to another unit that we're also buffing. Cool, seems fine. Seems good. The first prince um, boost to all allies multi attack rate when he's not buffed. Mr. Rule's not buffed. Oh, okay. So he gets multi attack rate. New support skill every three turns. Oh! He has hella passive. Every three turns, they activate a nuke. Oh, I said, I said buffed. Not debuffs, excuse me. But yeah, he has Hellas passive where skill damage cap up stackable. They didn't change the skill three, the one that gives charge barring. <laughs> well, he got buffed. Don't whine about it. Vera! Affection Abyss. One turn cut to skill cooldown. <gasps> oh, she got stack stackable! Yo, dude! They did what I want! Yo, is it 40 though? Is it 40? Yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But she gets a one turn cut to skill cooldown. She now gets attack stackable and defense stackable down. As he gains attack stackable and defense up stack. This is Seder. <laughs> I'm looking at this shit. And this, this is Seder's skill. The call. Cooldown changed to five turns. Oh, wow. Four turns when enhanced. Oh, this, this skill can't be this good. It can't be 40. There's no way. It has to be 30. That's too good. Affections Oath um, added, inflicts a lot attack down, light defense down, dark. Yo, why is he debuffing so hard? She got, look how many debuffs he gets. But she gains light attack. Attack down, light defense down, dark attack down, dark defense down, a foe. And it heals. 
and the cooldown will reduce to six turns. Blade of Light, boost to attack and defense, and double attack rate. Wait, they, did they change this? They just added boost to attack and defense and double attack rate. They increased the numbers, oh, okay. Okay, here's the real winner, Olivia, let's go. So this is who I care about the most. Sterling C. Damage and damage cap increase. D8 down. Strength increase. Wait, what? There's more damage cap on scale 1. Didn't change anything else. That's it. Come on, that's a dark unit. Unless you're going to give me like 20 pages of text, that's not a proper balance change. Her skill 2 now hits all foes, damage and damage cap increase, cooldown change to 7 turns, 6 turns when enhanced, so a 6 turn cooldown on her double delay, that's be pretty good. It's still double delay, right? They didn't change her Ogi from the looks of it. Oh, they didn't change her Ogi. Huh. I wish they changed their Ogi from 9 turns. Never more. Okay, let's see what this is. She gains shield, veil, and fallen wings effect. Effect ends upon taking damage three times. Fallen angel wings boost to triple attack rate, critical hit rate, debuff success rate, damage cap, and bonus dark damage effect. Cooldown chains to seven turns fallen angel amplify normal attack damage while dark attack is in effect so there's one problem that you have to have dark attack up but you know that's plenty in dark she has dark attack up on her ogie solemn has it fairy has it you know that's not too big of an issue she has bonus damage Damage cap up. Critical hit rate. Triple attack. You know, that's pretty good, but it could be better. They, they didn't let her one shot the boss, so I think they kind of dropped the ball on this unit. They should have changed their Ogi on Worldly. Give her a nuke, Sterling C, every time she Ogies. Um, her delay is okay, but it doesn't do enough, like... The BK has double delay too, right? So it needs to double delay. Then it needs to lower the party's health to one. And then heal for 10%. Kind of like conjunction. So that's a big mistake there. And she doesn't have a way to work with Nier. So they need to rebalance that too. When Nier effect is in effect, it gives her... Fallen Angel Wings to all allies. So we need to make, I think they should go back and rebalance Olivia. Just to make Fallen Angel Wings apply to all allies. That's the, that, there's a couple of mistakes here, personally. So. I mean, they didn't, they didn't, didn't do her right, personally. I mean, you release this unit in World Flipper and this is the best you can give her for a dark unit. We're not talking about no earth unit here. This is a dark unit. If the dark unit's not dropping like 20 million nukes on Ogi, has like 90% bonus. Oh, you know what? I see what's going to happen. They're going to give her 90% bonus damage like Lucio. Why not think about that? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only way that's how they're gonna fix everything they're just gonna give her 90% bonus damage so it's like her attacking twice <laughs> and then you throw you throw raise skill 1 on her <laughs> yeah. nah though in real, in real shit though she looks pretty good um, I just want the numbers right 
Amplify and bonus dark damage. She, she could be six tier. The only problem with her is that she had a little bit of startup. So keep that in mind. But other than that, she could be fucking hella broken. And she has double delay too. The only thing she doesn't have is six's unfair modifier in her passive. But who knows? Oh, true. They didn't give numbers for this passive skill, huh? I like how they, they gave numbers for some LEs, for some characters, right? But for Olivia, there's no numbers on her bonus dark damage and her amplified. I just not thought about that. <laughs> yeah. Let's make Olivia great again. Remember, guys. Oh, wait, hold up. Hold up. We do it for her. <laughs> make her, make Olivia great again. Make her great again. I believe, guys. I believe. I am not biased. <laughs> I am, I am not even remotely close to biased. Not even, not even a little bit. <laughs> make Olivia. Olivia was great for a good time, dude. Oh, you guys want to see something? Look, look, look. What's that? What's that? Ew. But yeah, make Olivia great again. Thank you. Be much appreciated, dude. Cool. Whatever. Oh, the weapon specialty changed. So, Anne is getting staff proof. That's cool. Oh, we get more fire harp units. Ooh. Ooh, pretty good, pretty good. Oh my god, the fire harp team is real. Yo, you can run a fire harp team that has hype. What the fuck? I just did a video on this. <laughs> the drop of Nella. <laughs> That's all I gotta do is just drop a Nella and put her in. Yeah, I legit just did a video on it. <laughs> I took a Nulla, but I would drop a Nulla now. She got Harp too? Pretty good. The character in your wallpaper looks dope. What's her name? I don't know. Dark Angel Olivia or something? Weird. Vera Grand is now spear proof. Okay, we got another light spear unit. That's cool. Wait, going with his spear? Oh, he was axe. Right. <laughs> that shit was so weird. Not Yule. Got harp. Yo, they're adding a ton of harp units. Magisa is melee now? Is her tits. Just because he has big ass knockers doesn't mean she's gonna knock you out with. <laughs> Why is he melee? Oh, Morax? That's not what it is, dude. No, it's not. You guys know what it is. You guys know what it is, bro. She's gonna knock you out with her two knockers. <laughs> Uh, Melissa Bella gets Axe. That's cool. Yule gets Harp. People complain about this, but I don't think it matters. I think her being Harp is better, personally. Oh, they all Harp. Oh. Yeah, I think it's better. Yeah. I think, I think her being Harp is better than being Saber. Saber's, like, overran. If she's Harp, you can make an argument for running her. But, is he Saber? It's like not happening. Reason being that Elysian, right? Elysian skill is Harp allies. So you, yeah. Makes no sense. But you can stack a ton of bonus damage now. With the Elysian skill.
But theme wise, fuck your theme. Stop your whining. When could you use a harp? You don't need to fucking use a harp to be a harp unit. I think whatever you have a melody or some shit or dancing or. I think that's what classifies a harp unit. That's why Horny Girl over here is, is a harp unit. So dancing, melodies, stuff like that. I think they're. I think harp is being more like musically driven stuff. Bro, that's what they're doing with harp. Right? Look, look at the harp units, my guy. Where's the anthos harp, huh? Y'all see you complaining and whining. See, so you don't got this. You got a fucking mic. You shut up and you complaining. Where's your harp at, huh? Where's your harp at? Where's your harp at? <laughs> That's why she's getting harp. Okay. I got I got call you all, dude. I think harp is better for her personally. I don't. Uh, I think the saber thing is is a good thing. Her changing from saber to harp, I think it's good. Sabers overran. Like there's so many saber units. Why are you complain about her being my mistakes? Yeah. I think it makes sense. It's fine. I'd rather her losing katana. No, I'd rather her lose sword any day of the week. I'd rather her lose sword. Besides Ultima Sword, what's the benefit of her being sword? Oh, I'll, I see what you mean. Because he gets a bonus, right, from Twig Grid and Chain Grid, you want her to be Saber, because... Okay, I, I can see that. Okay. At least you brought a good argument, right? Who using Yule in 2020? People who like, who like furries? Duh. What do you expect, my guy? But yeah, those are my opinion on everything, bro. Um, personally, um, it's a too long don't read variant of this. Nine. I think this is like really fucking good, right? Nine. I think it's like a five, five, six. He has a delay on his scale too, which is pretty good. Five or six. This is a seven to eight. I think this is pretty solid, right? Narme has change. Well, um, by the way, it's from one to ten, right? One being the lowest, ten being the highest. Um, blue Percival is like a four. He's a little because his buffs are defense wise, and they're local. Or, well, not local, but the self buff. It's kind of shit. It's like a four. Sars is like a three. Two. I don't know what the hell is going on with this character. Somebody got to figure it out because I don't know. Medusa is like a six, seven around there. It's pretty good, but it may not be as good as I'm thinking it's going to be, or maybe it could be better. But I think it's pretty decent. Gawain's like a four, five. I don't think it's a big change, but. It's still okay enough to still use them. Um, depending on the grid, if you're using like a T-Mop Bolt grid, he does have the ability to lower his health. So this, that alone makes him kind of viable. Carmelina, this is like a 5. I don't think it's a big change at all. Um, it's a change nonetheless, though. Probably 5, 4. I wish he got a little bit more. He didn't really get much at all, so... DLF is a five to six, um, mainly because while this stuff is still pretty decent, her getting the shield, now she can kind of keep her bonus damage alive a little bit longer, 
her getting a proper heal, stuff like that. But uh, I don't think this is the end for her. She's getting a five star. So um, they probably didn't even want to go too ham because of the fact that you're getting a five star. Pending, that's fine too. Cyril, um, this one, is, I don't know. Royal Curtain being a copy of Dark Virus skill is super lackluster to me. His skill one change is like whatever. He has the hellish passive. This is like a four. I don't think it's that great. Um, it's okay, but I, I just don't think it's that great or anything. So. Um, yeah, four. Dark Vera, seven to eight. Um, I think this tax stackable, depending on the values, was 40. This could be a nine. Um, but seven to eight. If this is 40, it's a nine instantly. She does so much now. Attack stackable, dark defense down stackable, a lot of attack, light defense, dark attack, dark defense. She's doing so much. Oh my god. Um, and just her cooldowns being so low now, right? Not only that, she has a reduction to her cooldowns on her Ogi. So, yeah. Uh, it really comes down to the value of her stackable. If it's 40, easily a 9, though. So, this is pretty good. Olivia is a 9. Um, depends on the values, could be a 10. It depends on if her bonus dark damage effect is Lucio tier. If it is... Oh, brother, dude. Um, damage cap up. It could be really nutty. So, watch out for Olivia. Um, just keep in mind, though, she's not a one-turn unit. Because she doesn't get her amplified damage until you get dark attack up. She's more for, like, bubs. I, I, would, I would use Olivia in bubs. But that's about it. But her numbers matter a ton. She could be a 10. She could be a 9. I think bare minimum, she's a 9. But I, I am biased as hell. I mean, do I do I lie? I'm biased, so she's a 10. So, yeah. I hope her numbers are really good. <laughs> but 10. Cool. Uh, the, wep the weapon specialty change. I think this is pretty okay. This is good. This is good. This is whatever. I don't think Vera being spirit is going to really change much. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. This is whatever. This is whatever. This is actually pretty good. Um, there's a lot of fire harp units. So I think this is really good. You can really stack a lot of fire bonus damage with this character. Her titties. And I think Saber on Yule is pretty good in my opinion. I know people complaining about it. But I think it's a pretty good change. Gives her more viability with Elysian's uh, new skill. That's a too long don't read. So.